Growing up, one of my dad's favorite guns was his Ruger 30 caliber uh, six-shot revolver. Uh, he liked it because it shot the same caliber as his M1. <laughs> But, David the Marine, I see your war face. You got a war face? Ruger has come a long way since then. They have. They came out with that in uh, the, the 50s, and that gun had a 7 inch barrel, so it, they went from a gun like this to this. This is the Ruger LCP 380. LCP stands for Lightweight Compact Pistol. Ruger came out with this in, uh, I don't know, 2006 or so. Uh, direct descendant from the Caltech uh, P3AT. Those are letters in a number. <laughs> anyway, it is a partially cocked, um, hammer fired gun. The, um, you see that's yeah. back off. They did a good job of concealing that down in there so it won't get caught on stuff. Right. Yeah. And you complete the trigger pull with the trigger, mm -hmm. or then the, ha the hammer travel, and then it comes forward. So it's a long pull, it's kind of a heavy pull, and it's got some sights. We might want for better sights, but I think these would be adequate enough. I did highlight the front sight with yeah. a little bit of orange. Mm -hmm. It holds six plus one. So easy to carry in your pocket. Rule number one in gunfight is have a gun. Whenever I go to the range with a new gun, I always shoot it fully loaded. That means the magazine fully loaded and chambered. That has, a, has an effect if you have a fully loaded magazine in there and you just chamber it, now the pressure is not as strong. First shot through the gun, just gonna take our time, get a feel for it. Now that's a David the Marine group, if ever I saw one. <laughs> okay, that was slow fire. What about rapid fire? I'm wondering if that trigger pull being so long would be causing a problem. Ah, uh, it'll slow me down compared to other guns. I think that's Minute the Bad Guy right there. Shazam. It does have a long trigger pull, but it's not as long as some of the ones that I've, I've shot before, like Keltex is like forever. That blue sky we shot the other day, a mile. So. Yeah, and the uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Uh -huh. I think that trigger pull is longer and harder than this one. Um, is this a target trigger? No, but I wonder what it will do at range. So we're out at 15 yards, see how she does. Not my best group, 15 yards. First time shooting this gun at 15 yards, uh, but I hit them, they all hit. Yeah. So there's that. That's what's important. Uh, there's not a lot to hang on to, but in a self-defensive situation, does it matter? Uh, 15 yards is beyond the, uh, I don't want to say beyond the capability, but you won't have too many confrontations from 15 yards away. They're going to be, you know, three to five feet probably, and this certainly is well uh, capable of that. It comes with a pocket holster, even says Ruger on it. And so they mean for you to carry it, and this is a delight to carry. It's, it's light. It's flat and it's safe to carry in your pocket. There's nothing that'll get caught on anything um, and then pull it out. So. And then long trigger pull, you know, working advantage is not gonna go off in your pocket. Like I say, it's only partially yeah. cocked. It's kind uh, of a safety feature. Really. Yep. Yeah. And uh, it's a good, decent gun. Uh, uh, zero issues with it today. I would not hesitate to carry this in my pocket. As always, guns, guns for, for everybody. everybody.